It is March and I have returned to the beautiful Furnace Brook Fishery in East Sussex for my final perch session until next winter. Spring is in the air as I look to try and catch one of my favourite species, the Mighty Perch. There has been plenty more rain of late and the lake looks very coloured. Plus, it is mild. Have I left it too late for another successful perch session? I will soon find out as I make my way to a chosen swim. Well, welcome to another Fishing Tail Films. I'm on the search for some more perch and I've come back down to Furnace Brook where I had such a wonderful session early in February and uh, I had perch up to 212, I had a 28 and um, it was my first real go at the perch on this lake here and um, I had a hunch that there was some good fish in here and I'm pretty sure that there's some bigger perch in here as well so I've come back down it's early March the sun has just stuck its head out and we've had a lot of rain in the week and the swim that I fished last time is absolutely covered in mud so probably two reasons a there's been a few people who've come down and give it a go churned it up a bit and then the rain that we had a couple of days ago has really turned it into a bit of a bog so I know I was tempted to swish around in the mud. I've come up to the, the next peg and I've got a nice tree to me right, a bit of, bit of margin cover. It's the next peg up and I've got a nice little feature down to me left. So I think I'll come here, it's going to be a bit more comfortable. I've got a nice big peg which will hopefully be good for the filming side of things and uh, I'm sure I could tempt some of them nice perch to come up and uh, have a go on my lobworms and prawn hook baits because that's what I'll be using today. Usual tactics, feeding over the top with maggots. I brought some white maggots with me today as well because the water is even more coloured than when I last come down. Obviously because of the rain, the water level's probably, looks like it's come up a bit more and um, hopefully it's going to be set for another fantastic day and uh, see if I can get amongst those really big perch that I'm pretty sure swim around in this beautiful lake. It's a lovely part of the world, one of my favourite places to fish and I'm looking forward to it. I get asked quite a lot sort of uh, messages what sort of tackle that I'm using uh, when I do my perch fishing so I thought I'd go through the setup that I'll be using. I've got two rods, sort of two rod approach and uh, fishing close in the margins on prawns and lobworms and uh, I use the Darren Valley 11 foot specialist rods which are really nice, they're 1.25 test curve and um, I use in conjunction with the Shimano Stratic reel you may recall that when I was down at Hordle Lakes on my video at Ambush Island uh, broke one of his stradics and thanks to Philindra Innovations they quickly turned around, repaired the reels and I've got both of them serviced so they feel brand new. They're actually, I thought I was about 10 years old, they're actually older than that. About 12 years old I've had these and uh, they feel brand new again there so thanks to Philindra for a great service and spooled up is four pound, it's the Gardener Hydroflow Green, I love using that line, especially for me perch fishing. It's very strong. The spools come in a, a good 300 metre size, so that's good. That'll load up a spool nicely. Saves a lot of messing about. Float wires on, on both rods today, I'm using the Coram Blobs, and they slide up and down. They're, they're loaded, they're three grams, and uh, about two foot from the hook. I've got a, I'm going to put a, a BB on there just to pin it down, pin the bait down a little bit more. And um, on my left hand margin, 
probably got probably about two, two and a half foot of which about six inches of that is over depth because I like to fish over depth and on the right hand margin it's a lot deeper there it's probably about another foot, foot deeper and again I've, I've set that up six inches over as well so a pair of Darrant Valley 11 foot specialist rods the Shimano Stratic reels with four pounds line Garden Hydro Flow Green which is great and uh, coral blobs a really simple setup hook wise I'm using a size 6 sorry size 8 and uh, if not I'll go down to a size 6 as well because I'm using big baits like prawns and, and lobworms and I normally like to tip tip the bait with a couple of red maggots either two dead reds or two live maggots as well so that's good feed wise my usual approach which is a chop up lobworms and prawns with some dead red maggots and a few live maggots in there as well chop them up into a bit of a mush pour a bit of the, the old aromix scent in there I use other scents as well there's plenty out there and just a little bit swish it all around and then through a pole cut and place it into the swim where I'm going to be fishing in the margins so that's you know, a really simple approach, an enjoyable way of fishing for the perch. I do love to see that float dip along, bob along, and then sail away, and then that, that rod bends over, thumps away, and you've got a nice perch on there, or well, hopefully anyway, that's the plan. It's very quite warm today, there's a few more anglers here, and um, I'm getting pestered with lots of skimmers at the moment, even though I'm using great big prawns there tapping away on the float so I think I may have to work a bit harder today for me perch you never know do you this is this is what it's all about if your baits are not in the water then you you can't catch any fish so I'll give it a go and let's see what happens
Well, I've been fishing for just about just over an hour or so now, and um, just when I was thinking it's probably a bit too bright at the moment for the perch, I've had my first perch caught on the prawn, two red maggots, and I brought it right in close to the to the margins for a bit of cover. And I guess this chap's pushing pushing the two pounds mark. A lovely looking fish, very clean looking fish, as they are here at Furnace Brook. So what a great start, maybe, when that sun goes down, I might get amongst some more fish. But this, like I say, this is my first perch of the session. I've had three or four little rudd and a uh, little roach. And then the, the target species, a lovely looking perch. That's excellent. It's been almost an hour since I had that first perch, which I, which I weighed, and it was just under two pounds. So a nice start there. No signs of any other perch, not even any small perch, but I'm getting lots of little tiny small roach and rudd. They're on the bait straight away. So I think it's going to be a patience game today, and I'm going to have to go down the big bait route. So I'm putting on a whole lot of worm, two or three red maggots, on the other rod, I found a little dead bait around the edge, so I put a little dead bait on and straight away it's obviously stopped all the little finicky bites from the, the small fish. I'm just hoping that, that that will attract the big perch. It's worth a go, it's still a bit bright for me. I'd rather it was a bit more cloudy, probably maybe yesterday might have been the day to have come, but sometimes you can't always choose your days. I've got to get on with what's going on today. I've been encouraged by that perch I had earlier. It's just a case of plugging away. I'm pretty confident that I think it's supposed to get a bit cloudy this afternoon. I know the sun's in and out most of the day. And then when, when it clouds up, I'm sure that's going to be a, a, a much more productive time. So the bigger baits is the way to go to stop the little stuff, keep feeding maggots over the top and fingers crossed those perch will come out to play. You can probably see now that I'm fishing so close to the bank that I could probably lean over and pick the float out, pick it up. Um, but I've just had what I think was a perch, perch on, and I bumped it. I was looking at the other rod, turn it around and then just see the rod we're looking at now, the float we're looking at now, just slide away. And I lifted into it because I've just had three rud in the same spot, thinking it was another rud, and uh, probably a lack of concentration. It thumped and then pinged out of it, and it wasn't a rud, it that was 
a purge, it was definitely a purge, I just know it was. And um, both of my rods now, I've, I've not, I'm not putting maggot at all with the prawn, I'm just using prawn on its own now. Because every time I put a maggot on it, it just attracts the rod. They're just absolutely ravenous. I've had probably 50, 50 odd rod now. It's crazy. I'm fishing right up tight now to the bank. Because that's where my, the only perch I've had earlier on this morning come on my right hand rod fairly close in. So I'm just fingers crossed that there's the perch are just patrolling right tight against the bank. Let's hope so. Well, it might be early March, but spring really does feel like it's already arrived. A lot of flowers starting to bloom, and daffodils are out, scattered out around the lake, which looks absolutely fantastic. You can see that the trees are starting to bloom as well, that first little tint of, of green. And um, it's always a nice feeling when you know that spring is on its way, because that means that it won't be long before I start fishing for the tench. And, um, and also some bream sessions as well. So I'm looking forward to that. Lots to look forward to on fishing tail films. I've got lots of new videos in the in the sort of planned in the pipeline. So that's that's all good. And um, it's always good to be out by the bank. I must admit, in the fresh air, Mother Nature, just enjoying yourself and. Uh, in the hope of trying to catch that special fish and if it doesn't happen, it doesn't happen you're still out enjoying yourself and trying is half the fun Well I've really had to work hard today for my fish and uh, just had this splendid, splendid perch I thought I'd lost one down by the right up close to the boards and um, the prawn was sucked up by this beauty and uh, two pounds four ounces and he put up one hell of a scrap he certainly did a real feisty feisty perch splendid condition and uh, I'm over the moon so it's one just under the two and this beauty of two pound four perseverance certainly pays I'll take a quick photo and pop him back well, I'm coming towards the end of my perch session today here at Furnace Brook, the wonderful Furnace Brook. And uh, I must admit, I'm relieved to have caught them two perch because I was getting a bit worried. It was, I felt a bit too much spring light for me and I didn't think that the perch were going were gonna to feed. Thankfully, I managed to wink on a couple of out. I've just had the two perch plus I think I did lose one just before I caught that second one because I went down on the same spot whether the same fish come back for another go maybe but um, like I say I'm really <laughs> relieved to have, to have got them especially when you come out to fish for a certain species and um, like I say I had such a wonderful time here five or six weeks ago on the perch with 17 so what a difference, just the two perch today, and um, but I really enjoyed it. It's always lovely to come here and fish at Furnish Brook. Hopefully you've enjoyed the video. Uh, I, I didn't want to show me catching rud all day long because that would have probably been a bit boring, I think. But I've had some nice rud, sort of up to about eight ounces, wonderful colours, and the odd roach thrown in the mix and a couple of little small skimmers. Plus, of course, the target species, perch of 2.4 and one just under 2. So I think I'll settle for that on what's been a, a tough day for the perch, I must admit. But very, very enjoyable all the same. And if you've enjoyed the video, please give it a like. And if you haven't, subscribe to the channel because your support means an awful lot. Thanks a lot and thanks for watching another Fishing Tail Fields.